turned out and I'm going to pour a few more things and I'm going to pour backgrounds on some of the ones that we already did. So um, that's, I'm mixing the resin right now. And I think I mentioned before, I use this amazing clear cast resin, which you can get at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, um, pretty much any craft store. And you can always use a coupon on it, which is nice. But I'm mixing it up. You mix equal parts of it together, the resin and the hardener. And you just have to make sure it's mixed really well. So that's what I'm trying to do, because if you don't, it will not cure right. Um, some of our pieces turned out really cute, I think. So I'm going to pop a couple of these out here in just a second, let you see the ones that are finished. And then we'll pour backgrounds for the other ones. So I'm just making sure this is stirred up. And thankfully, Chris handed me a new lighter a few minutes ago, so we will not have the problem of not being able to blow out the bubbles. <laughs> so that's kind of nice. All right, this is looking mixed pretty well. You have to be careful and make sure there it gets these little like striations in it, and you can see if it's not mixed together. And it gets really cloudy when you're mixing it, the chemical reaction of the hardener and the resin makes it really cloudy, so you have to mix until it's pretty clear, um, which is what I'm trying to do. Okay, so let's pop a couple of these out. You remember that we did the peace sign one, and it's finished. I think I'm just going to leave it clear and glaze it. So that's what it looks like, um, and the back is a matte because this is not a shiny mold. It's not shiny, so I will have to glaze it with something, but it's pretty cool. And uh, so I'll glaze that one. It'll be pretty. The other one I was going to not pour a background on was this dragon. Pop it out. So that's pretty cool. I'll make a keychain out of that probably. These are too thick for pendants. Um, I do pendants, but I pour them really thin. So there's the dragon. And there's the back. It'll have to be, uh, I don't know if I'll glaze that or not. I may just dome the dragon and be done. And then here are the aquarium or sea ones. These are really cool. I just I love these. <laughs> they turn out so pretty. So there's the little starfish. And I, I don't know. I think I got the blue a little too dark in that one. But I don't know. It's okay. It'll be a keychain also. And then the last one that I'm going to pop out is this um, other aquarium one with the seahorse. And it turned out really good. I love how the gold in the bottom is just really pretty. So those will all be keychains. And then, remember we had the Eiffel Tower with the love and little pearls and hearts. I'm going to put some kind of background on that. I can't decide what. Um, I don't want to do red because it would blend in too much with the hearts. I may do the pink glitter that was in our kit. And then we have the Starlight Mint. And it needs, it's too thin. The mint is kind of, well... I don't know if it is or not. It's kind of cool like that. I mean, let's pop that out and just see. I could always dome it if I need to. Whoops, my hearts went flying everywhere. So there's the starlight mint, and it's opaque. Remember, I had all the bubbles, and I did not have a good lighter. So I don't really like that, but I don't know. It's still pretty cool. It'll be a keychain. <laughs> okay, but the soft monkey here and the pineapple... We were going to glaze the backs with something, or um, make a background. So, I think for the sock monkey, I'm going to do some blue. Um, he has red heart, so I don't really want to use red, or it's going to blend together, and it's just hard to see it on the background. I don't want to do brown, because he's trimmed in brown. I don't want to do white, because he's got white. So, I think blue would be kind of cool. And so... I'm going to use blue. Oh, great. The lighter Chris gave me isn't working. You have got to be freaking kidding me with these lighters. Um, oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Whew. Big sigh of relief. I was actually at the Dollar Tree and Walmart yesterday and forgot to pick up a lighter, which is just ridiculous. Okay. So, we're going to pour a little bit in here, just enough for his background. Of resin. And then I'm going to put, this is called Pearlex Powder. It is the coolest stuff. This color is turquoise, obviously. It's named perfectly. 
Um, this stuff turns out so pretty in resin. So I'm going to put a little bit of this in my resin. It does not take much. Just a small little amount. And it's it's really pearly. It has a real pearly finish to it. It's just beautiful in resin. And I'm going to put a little glitter in. This blue glitter. Okay. And it looks like that. Let's mix that up and see how it comes out. It is very blue and pretty. Wow. So that will make a really, really pretty background. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this in the sock monkey down here. And I don't even think that I need all of it. Well, he doesn't need to be too thick. So make sure that your resin goes to all the edges. And we'll set that aside for a minute. We may do something else for that. Now for the Eiffel Tower, I think I was going to use the pink that came with it. Um, maybe. I don't know about that. I'm going to use a hot pink. The pink that came with it was really, really light. I may use a hot pink on it. I can't decide. It's so hard to decide on this thing sometimes. I don't know, what do you all think? Here's the pink that came with it, which is really pretty, or this hot pink. The pink that came with it is gonna blend in with the pearls. No, I don't know, Let's. I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna try it. Got one that's already open. Okay, let's grab a clean cup, pour some resin. Yeah. This pink is so pretty, I don't know. That in there. Isn't that pretty? It's got like an iridescent glitter mixed in with it. So pretty. Yeah, that looks good. I may put just a tad bit more in. I want it to be kind of dark. The real fine glitter, sometimes you have to put quite a bit in there. Yeah, that looks good. Mix it up really good. And we're just going to pour it in on the back of the Eiffel Tower piece. Okay, beautiful. Make sure it gets around all the edges. Okay, and that's that. Now for the pineapple. It is a copper color pineapple. So Lord have mercy, what am I going to put on the back of it? Black would be kind of cool. Black glitter. Ooh, that would look really cool. Okay, black glitter it is. Let's grab some more cups. Okay, put some resin in here. Do a little black glitter on this one. See it? It's pretty. <laughs> now with the black, you have to put a lot of glitter in or it kind of shows through. Because it's, I don't know, it's just kind of transparent. I'm going to put a little bit more. And I may even put a little dab of like a copper color would be really pretty. I've got this copper colored um, pearl X powder. I'm going to throw a little bit of that in there and just see what it does. See it? It's like a brownish copper color. Let's just put some in. I've never mixed black glitter and the pearl X powder before, but hey, why not? Let's see what it does. Ooh, well it totally takes away the black glitter. Okay. That might be a fail. Because <laughs> if I pour that in, <laughs> the pineapple's going to blend right in with it. Um, that will not work. So we'll use this as a background for something. I'll go ahead and... It would be a pretty background. I'll pour it. Okay. Lesson learned. You really can't put, 
put Prolix powders in with um, glitter. At least not. It didn't work. I don't know. Okay. Well, that'll make a pretty background for something. Okay. So, back to the black glitter. I don't know. I could do a different color. I could do, like, the blue. The blue would be cool. I do have some blue left. I think the black would look classy, though. Go through a lot of Dixie cups when you do resin. Okay, let's do a little more black. to be opaque. I don't want it to like be any have any clear transparent looking spots. Okay. So let's go ahead. Make sure I'm getting this on the camera. And pour this in the pineapple. So those are the backgrounds for the three that we already poured. And I'm going to glaze. Um, I actually have several things that I need to glaze and I need to dome a couple of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that while we're here. When you dome the tops of them, like they come out with like an, an edge on them. And if you don't wanna have to sand that off, which is a pain, you can just dome it with more resin. And I do like to do that. It just gives it a finished look. So I'm gonna go ahead and dome these really quickly. And I'll show you how to do that. You have to do it carefully. Um, and they have to be put on a level surface. This table is not level, so I will have to move these up onto my shelf. But you just take your resin, start in the middle, and just pour some on. And let it kind of flow to the edges. Just let it settle. Resin is self-leveling, so it will kind of just, hopefully, it usually doesn't go over the edges unless you pour too much. So I just pour some on and let it drip and run a little bit. And then I'll go back and help it spread. So like this one here, it just needs help spreading to the edges. But you want to be really careful because you don't want it to go over. You don't want it to spill over. If it does, I've got it on the silicone mat and it won't harm anything, but it won't make your piece look very good. <laughs> so you just take your popsicle stick or some people use the um, toothpicks and just move it out to the edges. Okay. Make sure it goes all the way or you'll have a gap. You kind of have to sometimes get down and get level with it and look, but this is just called doming and it makes your piece look nice and finished. And then I'll set this behind me on a level shelf and they'll cure. So when these are all cured, and when these backgrounds are finished or cured, then I will um, come back and do a part three to this video and show you all the finished pieces and how we can turn them into keychains. So I'll finish doming this, and I'll see y'all in about 24 hours or so. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.